Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion which is classification 2. So today I would like us to discuss the classes within the phylum Arthropoda. So classes of phylum Arthropoda and these include there are five of them we have class crustacea class chilopoda we have class diplopoda class arachnida and finally we have class insecta so those are the five classes that we have within the phylum arthropoda so we're going to discuss the characteristics of each one of them starting with the first one which is class crustacea Uh, before we look at the characteristics of class crustacea, it is important to discuss the examples examples include crabs we have the prawns we have the lobsters crayfish etc so those are the members of the class crustacea what is commonly referred to as crustaceans but taxonomically they are class crustacea remember the class name should start with a capital letter because it's a taxonomic name so the next we are going to study the characteristics the characteristics of class crustacea and uh, one is that uh, they have two body parts they have two body parts and that is head and thorax fused together to form cephalothorax the head and the thorax are fused together to form cephalothorax and abdomen so those are the two body parts that is the cephalothorax and the abdomen so the cephalothorax is the head and the thorax that are fused together and you can see that uh, cephalothorax is made of a hard is made of a hard outer covering called carapace 
so the cephalothorax is enclosed by carapace or it has a hard outer covering called carapace crustaceans have a pair of compound eyes They have a pair of compound eyes. The other characteristic is that uh, they have varied, that is various, number of appendages. They have varied number of appendages. Modified for different functions. Modified for different functions. E.g. locomotion. There are those that are for locomotion. Some of the appendages or some of the limbs. There are those that are modified for feeding. For example, the mandibles and the maxillae. And there are those that are modified for defense. Then, uh, uh, that is the third, the fourth. They have two pairs of antennae they have two pairs of antennae antennae are mainly for sensitivity for sensitivity So, um, uh, some of the crustaceans, you can say that some are parasitic, or they are parasites. Some of the, them are parasitic, while others are free living others are free uh, living their mode of gaseous exchange is by use of gills They have three pairs of mouth parts. Three pairs of mouth parts. And that is one pair. Of mandibles. One pair of mandibles. Mandibles are the chewing mouth parts no they are the cutting sorry they are the cutting mouth parts so they use the mandibles to cut the food and two pairs of maxillae maxillae these are the chewing mouth parts. So they usually use those mouth parts for feeding. 
So that is as far as the class Crustacea is concerned. Uh, we have uh, seen that uh, they have two body parts. The head and the thorax are fused together to form cephalothorax. That is one of the body parts. And the other one is the abdomen. And we are saying that this cephalothorax is protected by a hard covering that is called carapace or a hard material called carapace. They have a pair of compound eyes. They have varied number of appendages. They don't have a fixed number. And some of the appendages are modified for locomotion, movement, feeding, and also defense. They have two pairs of antennae for sensitivity. Uh, some are parasitic, while others are free-living. Gaseous exchange is by use of uh, gills because they spend most of their time in water. That is either fresh water or marine water. Uh, they have three pairs of mouth parts. That is one pair of mandibles or the cutting mouth parts and two pairs of maxillae, which are the chewing uh, mouth parts. So we'll have an assignment on that. So the first question in the assignment, name five classes of phylum arthropoda. And uh, two, state four characteristics that are unique to class Crustacea. So we'll continue from there until next time. Goodbye.